uh, molecular weight and formula weight. So these atomic weights that we're seeing on the periodic table, the, the, sorry, the mass number, that's the mass of the atom. Uh, so if I want to know the mass of a molecule, I got to add them up. All right. So uh, let's find the molecular weight for ethanol. So ethanol looks like look like looks like this CH three CH two OH. So it has two C's. See, it has one two three four five six H's, and it has one oxygen. I go to the periodic table, and I look what the masses are for it. C has a mass of twelve. Protons is six, but mass is twelve. H has a mass of one. And oxygen has a mass of 16. So I'll just do 2 times 12 plus 6 times 1 plus 1 times 16. And the molecular weight for this, how much this weighs, is 46. So I, I just basically you add up the constituents that you already know their weights. Okay. Oxygen is O2. So it's two O's, two 16s, S32. Okay. Ethylene, which is C2H4, I, I it's two C's plus four H's. The periodic table tells me that C is, C is 12 and H is 1. I add them all up, it's 28. Okay, zinc sulfide, it's one zinc, one sulfur, zinc is 65.4, sulfur is 32, I add them up, I get 97.4 AMU, okay? Chlorine is Cl2, so two Cl's, Cl is 35.5, so I have 71 AMU, okay? Ions, uh, ions, we didn't, we didn't discuss ions as much, uh, but they're basically I told you atoms are defined by the number of protons. So I have five protons, I, uh, I know I have boron. If I have four protons, I have beryllium. But the number of electrons can change for an atom. It doesn't matter. I can, I, can have, I can have boron and I can add electrons to it or the subtract electrons from it. It will still be boron. It will be called, it will be called boron, uh, boron ions, okay? So electrons can, can come and go and it won't change the chemical structure, the, the, the identity of the atom. Ooh, we'll finish very soon, okay? Uh, when you lose an electron, you become a positive ion, which is known as a cation. When you gain an electron, you're known as a negative ion or an anion. Uh, they're denoted by superscript. When O gains two electrons, it becomes O minus two. When aluminum loses three, it loses, it becomes positive. So it becomes Al plus three. When a substance loses or gains electrons, it becomes a polyatomic ion. Okay, so a whole thing could become, uh, have a charge. Okay, so uh, we'll see these and we'll practice with these. Uh, make sure you understand this, that when you gain electrons, you become neg negative, makes sense. And when you lose electrons, you become positive. Okay, uh, and we'll do an example in a bit.